Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo and in today's video we're going to talk about cruising and what I'm taking as far as my clothing goes. So let's head on back to my uh, staging area and I'll show you what I've got planned. All right, so I have all my stuff laid out on the bed and before I pack it into my suitcase, I'm going to show you what clothing I'm bringing. Uh, a few years ago, I actually did, say hello to socks, <laughs> I actually did a how I pack my clothing um, because I don't pack like most people do. A lot of people roll their clothes or they use those packing cubes. To be honest with you, I have found that my uh, way of packing takes up less room and you have a lot less wrinkles. So, and I'll touch about that a little bit on here, but I go more into detail with a video and I will actually post the uh, link to it at the bottom here. Okay, sorry about that. Socks need a little bit of attention. <laughs> I love her so much. Anyway, so um, what I have packed right now already uh, are my pajamas and my bathing suit. I usually bring three pajama type things. One is kind of a duster, I guess you call it, uh, that I wear when I'm um, sh after I shower and I'm getting my makeup and stuff on. I just put that on before I put the clothes that I'm going to wear to dinner or wherever I'm going on. And then the other two sets of pajamas are uh, capri pajama bottoms and a t-shirt. Usually when I travel, uh, whether I'm going on a cruise, camping, uh, motelling, being at somebody else's house, I like to to um, make sure that I have something that's a little on the modest side because you never know when you may have to evacuate or you run into somebody, you have to go out. Anyway, I just feel more comfortable um, in something like that when I'm traveling. Uh, as far as my bathing suits go, I have two bathing suits. Uh, a tank, I have Both of them are tankinis and I have board shorts that go with both. Um, I'm almost 60 years old. I'll be 60 in a few months here. And I don't know. I just don't feel appropriate in anything too skimpy. And um, also, tankinis, they're very easy, ladies. You know this. When you got to go to the bathroom, they're not a pain in the butt. <laughs> uh, so they're just easier for me. I like to walk the track. And so I just throw on my tennis shoes and I have my uh, tankini and my board shorts on. And I I'm able to do that uh, comfortably. And um, the other thing, uh, when I'm out and about, if I want to go, say, um, we just we're, say we're out on the deck uh, getting some sun and we want to go get something to eat, I have this cover up. And I absolutely, I got this at St. Kitts and I love, love this cover up. Isn't it pretty? I wish it was a little bit longer because I would actually use it as a church dress, but it's just a little bit too short for that. Um, but so I do have one cover up. We're on a seven day cruise this time, warm weather. And uh, so we have two elegant nights. This is one of my elegant outfits. It's a long pink dress. I made this uh, lanyard necklace. Um, it's crystals, black crystals and pearls. And just have this little shrug thing. Very simple, and I'll have my black shoes. And then the other elegant night, I'll still wear that uh, lanyard, but this is a, a long black dress. And uh, I made this necklace to go with it. It, The beads actually came from Puerto Rico, and this came from Roatan uh, several years ago when we were cruising, but I just paired it with a, a little lace uh, jacket there. Again, my black shoes. Now, um, it does get chilly on the ship sometimes, particularly at night. And so I brought a little black shawl to go with my dresses. Um, other than that, I am bringing a jacket. This jacket comes with me everywhere. It's just a little Ron Johns jacket I picked up. So oh, it's probably 10 years old or more, but it's uh, got a hood on it. So it can do double duty in case it get caught in the rain. Um, but this, this goes with me even when I go into port I'll just stuff it in my in my bag. Um, 
Always bring a pair of long pair of pants. You never know when you might need them. I know one time we decided to go horseback riding. I'm glad I had a pair of long pants um, to wear because they make you wear long pants. Uh, I am going to fly this time. So um, this is what I'm wearing uh, to fly. It's a long pair of pants. I actually have blood clot problems, so I have to wear um, compression stockings when I do fly. So that's why I'm not wearing any type of capris or shorts. And then just a pair of shoes. And uh, embarkation day. This is what I'm wearing. A pair of uh, yellow capris and a little t-shirt here. Um, I always wear this on all my embarkation days. I got a pair of earrings that little cruise ships that go with it. And I, I made uh, my mom and my sister um, necklace and earring set like it too. But uh, probably will not be wearing this after embarkation day because it's probably going to be very hot. And uh, I don't like to wear yucky sweaty clothes the next day. All right, so this is another outfit I brought. Uh, I've got a pair of uh, blue capris and this fun little t-shirt. And then this top will also go with the capris. What I like to do a lot of times is have two tops for each uh, bottoms that I have. Uh, I feel I can wear my bottoms more than once, but my tops, I'm not really for sure. Sometimes it, you get just too hot and I don't want to wear sweaty, yucky clothes the next day. Plus the fact when you go into port, some of those ports aren't exactly the cleanest places. So um, in order to cut down on bringing so many clothes, what I'll do is um, like, for instance, I may wear this into port and then I'll come back to get ready to go to dinner and clean up and then I'll, I'll wear an, another outfit, which that will be what I'll wear the next day to the next port. And that cuts down on having so many things to bring. Okay. Then I have a pair of uh, jean capris and this shirt. And then the other shirt that I have to go with those same thing is just a little t-shirt like this. And just bringing this fun little thing with a pair of white capris. And I have made all this jewelry. I made it especially for this cruise. I had fun doing that. This particular piece here, actually, this came from, uh, I think it was called the Dizzy Donkey in Grand Turk, and it just came on a, a leather cord, so I took it off and wired it, and then I got these beads in Puerto Rico, so it's, it's like a souvenir for me that um, I made a couple of years ago. And, and actually, this shell I picked up. Uh, in St. Martin on the beach. And then these came, these beads also came from Puerto Rico. All right, here is a, another outfit, white capris and this uh, fun little top. Now I do have, I'm bringing two white pair of capris. I have a feeling they're not necessarily, white doesn't stay clean very long. So that's why I didn't pair it up, pair those two with one pair of pants. I did bring a long pair of um, pants to wear to dinner one time. They've got palm trees all over them, this black outfit. And then this is a lanyard. This is a shell I just found on the beach and made a lanyard out of it. Uh, as far as exercise goes, this particular cruise, we are staying in a spa suite, which we have never done that before, and I'm, I'm excited about that. And so I want to take advantage of some of the exercise classes, specifically yoga and Pilates. So I have brought uh, my exercise clothes and, um, and I just brought an extra t-shirt. And uh, as far as clothes, that's pretty much it. I already did a video on uh, what shoes I'm bringing. And in that video, I have a, had a dilemma of whether or not I was going to bring all of them. And I think, I think I'm going to bring them all. <laughs> So I'll have six pair of shoes, um, five of which I'll bring on the cruise. One uh, I'll have to wear on the flight over there. Um, and just to touch up a little bit about how I pack, I make sure that I 
don't roll my items. I don't use the packing cubes. I actually have everything flat. Uh, my suitcase is big enough where I can do that. So I would lay these flat and smell that, smooth out all the wrinkles and just do it that way. But like I said, I'll post the link to the video of how um, I do that. Anyway, I hope this uh, helps you as you pick out your clothes for your next cruise. And uh, I hope you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and most of all, y'all have a wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.